There's no music. <laughs> I think I turned the music off. I did. There it is. All right, we might as well just get started. <laughs> Who needs intro screens anyway? Welcome back, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed the break. Got myself a cup of tea. And it's time for Elden Ring to continue. So, when we last met our hero, Jessica Albanoric, she was still on the hunt for the Albanoric bow. We had just gotten ourselves to Mogwin Palace so that we could do some bird farming. I have done a lot of bird farming, as you might expect. My stats are looking a little different now. Health bar's looking a little bit better. We're level 127. Uh, I will hide my camera. I need to set up a version of this that doesn't have the uh, camera and overlays just so I can easily switch between those with the stream deck. But yeah, right now we have um, 60 decks, 40 strength, 40 vigor. I put a few points into arcane, a couple into mind and endurance because it's useful to have a bit of FP and stamina. And uh, yeah, we're looking a lot healthier, generally speaking. So we're going to start by seeing how deep we can get into Volcano Manor. We're going to fight uh, Godskin Noble. And uh, I'm going to do that bow only if I can. We have a lot of arrows. I basically have the maximum amount of arrows I can store. I don't have as many firebone arrows, but we can buy bones now. And I have been doing a little bit of casual material farming. Only thing I haven't done a whole lot of is golden seeds. We haven't been through Lanedale yet. Um, so if we run out of flasks at any point, that's going to be a consideration. But I'm going to start by trying to fight Godskin Noble and see how well we do. With a little bit of extra dex and strength, this is going to go a little better in terms of damage. But it's still not easy fighting bow only because bows don't have incredible scaling the way some of the other weapons do. And this is still just the longbow. This isn't even the bow we're supposed to be using for the rest of the game. The main reason I want to get through this part of the game is so we can fight Rykard. Because, honestly, Rykard is not going to be a character who we fight all that often. Primarily because um, he's sort of out of the way, and it's easier to fight a couple of the other shard bearers instead of Rykard. I should also be uh, shooting fire or poison at this guy, potentially, so... Doing pretty well so far. He's going to hit the pillars occasionally. The one problem is if he goes behind the pillars, then I lose lock-on to him, which is annoying. You'll notice I'm doing a lot of jump shots as well. When I've seen people do these fights bow only, they tend to do jump shots a lot because they're faster. And the main problem I have with uh, my Ash of War right now is that Mighty Shot takes a while to actually shoot people. So, yeah, by the time I line it up, I get hit with Black Flame, and that's not great for me. Definitely doing better than we did last time, though, primarily just because I'm prepared for the fight. This is the bit where we get behind a pillar. Oh, and he got out. Well, we can avoid this until he stops rolling. Try and get a couple of quick hits in. Avoid him behind the pillar. I hate that attack specifically. But fortunately, I survived with, like, a paper cut's worth of health left. And this is where we want to get him stuck behind the pillar. Great. This usually gets you a free couple of hits. Depending on how long he stays stuck there. And if you can get him at a certain angle, then you can kind of see around the pillar, so... Okay, if we only get hit once by that, then that's... 
better odds than I normally have. Not bad, not bad. And now it's big stomp attack, basically. Okay, don't know what he thinks. Oh, wow, he threaded the needle that time. That's impressive, actually. He did a whole combination for that one. And yeah, this is the one I don't really want to get hit by too much. But inevitably, it's going to happen. We're down to two heals. Make that one heal. I don't think I've set the mixed physic up with anything yet, though, so... We might still have a heal on that. I always mistime that one. I always... Dang it. Okay, now I don't even know where the camera went. Oh, and now I have no flasks left. Curse you. Okay, well, I did set up something on the Physic. It's not a heal, unfortunately, but it does prevent one instance of damage. And now I just have to not get hit, which is quite difficult with this guy. Gotta try and keep him at range where we can. That is quite difficult. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I have like a tiny amount of health left. No, oh, dang it. I thought I could roll out of that. I thought I had enough time. Boo. Okay, well. We'll try one more time. This time I think I'll be a little better. Mostly I want to swap out for poison because that will deal more damage to him over time. He seems like the kind of guy who'll be uh, vulnerable to poison. We could also do something with the mixed physic, but honestly I think I'll do better if I just mighty shot a couple of times at the beginning and then do what I did. That's brutal. Ah, uh, it's fine. This is this is how this game works. Um, let me see. I love seeing all the blood stains from people who are trying to like parkour around the boss fight. He absolutely took that. What a champ. Okay. Uh a few hits down with poison. Is he poisoned? He's poisoned. Okay, cool. So he's taking a little extra damage over time. Nice. Timed that well. Oh, did not time that well. As you might expect, the main problem with bow only is just... The fact that if we lose this fight, then all of the ammunition was wasted for no real benefit. Which is kind of unfortunate as it goes. Okay, that one, for whatever reason, he managed to not hit me. Okay, he should hit second phase now. Which means he'll be stuck behind this pillar for a minute. Except he isn't because... Oh god, this is the worst place to be in this fight. Yeah, we didn't quite get him stuck behind the pillar on the roll attack, which is a real problem.
At least for that one, he got stuck on the chandelier. <laughs> Poison's one off. Which means it's time to back away. Wait for him to attack. Give ourselves a bit of an opening for the poison arrows. Flask to heal up. Stamina management is one of the current banes of my existence, but... That should get him poisoned again. If he's not, then we need to do one more arrow, maybe two. There we go. Okay, need to heal, need to heal. Oh, didn't roll very well that time. Nice, thread the needle, good work. He's got a heck of a turning radius on him. Okay, now we can just wear him down a little bit more. Nice. Good game. Okie doke. Well, that is going to get me all of half a level up at this point because we have 104,000 runes to get before our next level, but that's fine. We can manage. We'll get this. There's nothing there. We'll get the grace. And in terms of arrows, we can probably restock... And I think from here, we should just go straight for Rykard. We'll do the Serpent Hunter Spear. I think I have enough Somber Stones to get it to, like... Yeah, I can get it to level 5. Plus 5 will be good enough. We've got a decent amount of dex and strength, which is what the, the weapon needs to scale anyway. So we'll just make a uh, straight line for Rykard. Do that fight, and then we're in Lanedale. And then the main obstacle is Morgot. On the way, of course, we do want to make sure we get the um, Halig Tree Medallion. So we can go to Albanoric Village and do that maybe before Lanedell. I think I'm going to ignore the Abductor Virgin here just because it's a pain. Ow. I said I was going to ignore you. Hard to ignore you when you're doing damage to me. Here's the thing about serpents. Long boys. Also surprisingly not very resistant to poison. Trandir, thanks so much for gifting 24 tier 1 subs. Unbelievable. Was that because you uh, have a two-year sub yourself or are you just uh, feeling extra generous? Either way, thank you so, so much. Really appreciate it. Let's hear it for Trandir in the chat, folks. Long boys. Mighty shot goes through shields. Yeah, get wrecked. Ah. Okay, that's where my luck ran out slightly. Katana time. You can't snake away from me. You have a theory why you think the end is the next update? Is it because people have been asking for it constantly? <laughs> and uh, despite popular opinion, Mojang actually likes to give Minecraft players what they want occasionally. 
This guy's my least favorite because he has this weapon. Which usually leaves uh, magma all over the place if he's on like a flat ground. But if you can bait him onto the staircase, it doesn't do as much. How much have I played Elden Ring? I have like 550 hours in this game now. We're on our third playthrough of this challenge, which is um, trying to beat every, uh, trying to beat the game with every weapon in alphabetical order according to the table of weapons that's on the Elden Ring wiki. Um, in this case, we are sneaking through Volcano Manor. Um, we are going to try and get to this teleporter to go see Rikard. There we go. And this skeleton, skeleton, snake, is not going to get in our way. We can grab this grace, grab the weapon inside of here, and then leave. I don't think we can teleport out of the boss chamber, though, so I don't have a sacrificial twig. We're probably just going to die in here. It's fine, because the runes don't really matter at this point. And now we leave. There we go. So you can, before the uh, boss fight starts, you can just warp out of here, which is kind of nice. Um, so we're going to go and upgrade this, since we've got the runes. And we're going to do the Rikard fight in the incredibly boring and normal way. Those are the uh, where is it? 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 This one. Okay, cool. That should do. That should be enough. It won't make the fight super easy, but I think my stats will probably account for that, so. We will unequip the Uchi Katana. We will not unequip the bow, because the bow is staying with me for now. And we will Great Serpent Hunt, my friends. How am I feeling about the Elden Ring DLC? Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I didn't roll for some reason. Maybe I had no stamina. Can't really tell. Didn't do a whole lot of damage, which is nice. Okay, that time I rolled badly. <laughs> this is also really loud. So let me know if it's too loud and I can always turn it down, but... Man, I hit the poison. <laughs> yeah, that's why I hate the poison. So this might take a couple of attempts. I'm not used to this fight. You beat Moog today? Nice. No, we don't have the bow now. This is still the longbow that I've been using the whole time. This is one of the tasks on the way to getting the bow. I wanted to fight two shard bearers who are slightly different to the last couple of runs, so uh, I decided we'd fight Rikard and we'd do it with the uh, the gimmick spear. And thankfully, he avoided the uh, attack that always hits me because I don't know how to avoid it. it. Okay. I might also need some more blue flasks for this because the Ash of War takes a decent amount of FP and I've not been used to that with the uh, the bow taking so little. I just need to not roll left, I guess, or maybe just time the roll better. <laughs> Okay, now I'm out of FP for the move. I think I might also be heavy rolling. So 
So that's probably one of the reasons why it's... Uh... Yeah, I'm a heavy load with this. Okay, we'll take the helmet off. Okay, for anyone who hasn't seen this cutscene, this cutscene is fun. And by fun, I mean gruesome. But it's the fun kind of gruesome. If it's not loud at all, good. It feels loud in here, but maybe I just have my speakers up too high. You have 50% of the achievements for Elden Ring on Steam? Nice. I think I'm missing all but the uh, legendary weapons and talismans one. Turns out the snake was a guy. Family. I don't know why it pauses for so long between each, like, cut, for, for whatever reason. It's my sword from the playthrough with Zloy XP! Love this guy. Especially love to hit him in the face with this weapon. He's got another swing. Oh, no, maybe he doesn't. We're aiming for the stun. We're not going to get the stun. The problem is, as this fight builds, the skulls raining down from the sky get more and more intense, so if you don't finish it by a certain point, it gets, like, ridiculous. Fortunately for us, we did enough poise damage that he got staggered. And that's the fight. We win. make it look too easy. Honestly, once you get to like 127 levels <laughs> and this weapon scales on strength mostly but then also dex and if you upgrade the weapon once you have it, that fight gets a lot easier. You just gotta spam L2 while you've still got blue meter and then spam heavies the rest of the time and then dodge a couple of attacks from the snake but most of the time the snake is gonna be like uh, thrown off a little bit Honestly, I think we maybe put points into Arcane just for discovery. Um, yeah, the snake's uh, attacks are going to be thrown off a little bit. By the fact that you're uh, doing heavies, it can, st it can stagger it out of some of the animations. Violet, thank you for the four months. Appreciate it very much. Hope you're having a good one. Is that specific weapon good against this boss? That specific weapon is intended for that boss fight, and it is actually quite difficult to beat him with any other weapon. Um, but it is specifically the Serpent Hunter Spear, and you find it in the boss room. <laughs> uh, it has an attack that only works with all of the extra, like, you know, Ghostbusters special effects and stuff during that fight. So, yeah, basically it is intended for that fight. <laughs> you, it's true then. No, defeat isn't until then. I will I suggest I will miss the champion who walks I always walk All right cool So uh yeah we've been Rikard that gives us our second great rune I'm going to get out of here quickly and get the map for this area which does mean encountering a finger creeper but that's fine It is a gimmick fight but it's a fun gimmick fight yes absolutely 
<laughs> the game's suddenly queuing the lighting for outside. It's like, oh, you're leaving. Wow, okay. Hmm. Better, better make sure we light this place. It's actually really fun how that guy sounds different to the other guys. Um, I'm going to grab the Sacred Tear from over here. Not Sacred Tear, the Golden Seed. You know the one. You know what I meant. And then we're going to go down here. We're going to avoid the hands. Give him a big hand, folks. One of them is going to try and attack me when I'm coming over here to get the map. And I will avoid it. Because I know your tricks. And while it staggers around over there, we're going to tag this Grace. Okay. We found the Mount Gelmir map. I don't know what else I want to do here, if anything. We might come back here to fight the Falling Star Beast and get some smithing stones later, but I don't want to do that fight very much. So let's instead go to Altus Highway Junction. I think one of the things I'm missing on this playthrough that it would be worth going and getting at some stage is the um, the Erd Tree tiers. I did go and fight the one here at the the Kaelid Minor Erd Tree. And I think I might have fought the one on Weeping Peninsula as well. Um, but I did those fights off camera because they're pretty basic fights. They're the same thing. But I needed some more f uh, tiers for my mixed physic. So now I have Opalin Bubble Tier and Green Burst Crystal Tier for stamina recovery and the extra shield. So we're just going to charge our way up the steps. We're probably not going to fight all of these guys because I don't really want to do it. Instead, I'm going to focus on trying to dodge arrows. And tree sentinels. Okay, we got hit by one. That's fine. And then after this, we get four golden seeds, so we can upgrade our flask, like, twice. Which is very nice of them. Da -da 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 it is very kind of these tree sentinels to basically not want to attack you once you reach here. After that, they're like, nah, you're fine. He's in now. Whatever. Is there another guide that has a route with all the quest lines and main bosses? If you go to Game FAQs, which is a website I feel like I did not use very frequently up until I started playing Elden Ring. Uh, I used to use it all the time back in the day. Um, but yeah, go to Game FAQs and look for the All Quests and Missables guide. The Missables guide basically takes you through all of the quests, so it's... um. It's really worth doing. See, I don't know how easy it's going to be to fight this thing with the bow. Not very, I think. Although at this point, it's easier than fighting it with any of the other weapons I have. This is another fight that we could just ride past, but... I don't know why I just feel like it. It's also got a massive hitbox.
because of the wings, mostly. Although it's surprisingly good at dodging. I also think they might be immune to poison because they're gargoyles. So technically, like, made of stone. And they also spit poison later. But I'll try the poison arrows, you know, just in case. They still deal damage. Oh, yikes, ow. That really quite hurt, actually. Big benefit of this enemy's behavior. They also back off after they hit a certain point down this staircase. So now I can just... rain arrows on him. Actually does pretty decent damage if you headshot, too. Couple more hits and we should be good here. Ow. Nice. <laughs> Somehow I won that. I don't know if I deserve to, but... I did. Last thing in case it needs to be said, I don't own Elden Ring. If I did, there'd be fewer Godskin bosses. Yeah. There'd be fewer Black Knife Assassins if I owned Elden Ring. We're going to ignore Margit round two. I see these Smoldering with that wretch flame of ambition. That was nicely done. Thanks. I mean, took advantage of the uh, enemy AI a little bit there, but I think we, we deserved it. Now, my next question is, what's going to be any good against Draconic Tree Sentinel as a bow user? Fewer Godskin, Black Knife, and Nerf Dogs, Rats, and Birds. Yeah, there's some enemies that are, like, fun to fight, but difficult. And then there are some other enemies... Like the dogs, rats, and birds. Alright, that's six golden seeds used. We have two more flasks. I'm going to put at least one of them into blue. Rot arrows, rain of arrows. Yeah, okay, cool. I can probably put that on my longbow now. Is someone there? A customer? Well... Well... Also, this guy now sells golden arrows, which are holy damage. Um, and golden great arrows. So we have access to them. I don't know if there's going to be that much that takes extra damage from holy. I need to make sure that my arrows are topped up. I guess we could buy a bunch of these just to have them. And to get rid of all of those runes. Um, obviously, I would buy stuff like the Sentry's Torch if we were going to fight the Invisible Assassins. I haven't activated any of the um, great runes yet either because I'm never confident about whether or not I'm going to die. Oh, the main thing I want to do actually is go back to the um, the round table hold. There we go. That's the button combination. And uh, get the other talisman pouch. Because now we can do that. We can get the spear talisman on the go and it turns out The uh, the spear talisman actually increases the damage you do with a bow because the wording of it says enhances counterattacks unique to thrusting weapons. But what that actually means is that certain weapons, like spears, for example, 
do more damage if you're attacking while the enemy is attacking. And so what it means by counterattacks is not like a guard counter or any kind of like parry. It's actually just if you interrupt an enemy's attack. And apparently thrusting weapons also includes bows. So the spear talisman actually does more damage if you're a bow user as long as the other as long as the opponent is in the middle of an attack animation and you're interrupting it. Which absurd. Like who who could possibly have known this from the description of this given to you in the game? <laughs> You plan on hitting any of the death right birds? Oh yeah, I suppose so. Right, anything that does death blight. I assume worm faces and stuff as well. Yeah. Randoon's gaming. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Um. Yeah. So that's a thing. That's a thing we can do. Uh, so I have the talisman pouch now. <laughs> Rodrika still doesn't do spirit tuning, which is quite funny. I've just not talked to her yet. I did say I was going to do some summoning. The main thing we want to do though is go to the folly on the lake. Go from here to Albanoric Village. Get the first half of the uh, Halig Tree Medallion. Go and get Latena. And then we're actually going to use Latena as a summon and be like Albanoric Archer Sisters. Because I don't think I've ever really used Latena as summon before. And I think that'd be really fun. Am I going the right way? Am I even... I'm not going the right way at all. It should be this way. That's the stuff. You know, big cliffside. Big hole in it. Yeah, that's that's the one. That's the one. Vow of the Indomitable. Again, would be great if I want to do holy damage, but I don't. I love Latena's summon. She's like a turret. Yeah, and I don't know how useful that's going to be against certain bosses, but I am also going to be a turret. So uh, <laughs> we'll see how that works. Nefeli isn't here. That's not a great sign, but... Maybe I need to talk to her at Round Table Hold first. Yeah, here we go. You I thought you'd risk the Felly Lou. I'm glad to see I found it in God. You defeated made good use of it. Thank you. Arsenal charm. Yay. Ah, yeah. I wonder if he's in his study. If you haven't already father is I'm sure at all. It's about I'll see you again. Okay, so let's do that trip again. This time I know where I'm going. There we go. Best thing about Latena is summoning her around wolves. Yeah, I know. That's another reason I'm excited to try this out. Seriously, look, it's like it's right it's right here, and I was just like going every which way around where I should have been going. Yeah, I'm curious if the uh, the Latena summon is going to be a huge advantage to us, but we will we will find out. Oh well, I witnessed a sight much the same. The oppression awaking. Put this time though the suffering justice to let the scar. Put this time though the suffer justice to let the There we go. When you've seen the Horror Lou fight, the fact that she introduces herself as Nefeli Lou Warrior is a little bit more resonant. She doesn't say it with quite the same emphasis though. Alright, time to open with an absolute treat. Yep, that's right. Sit down. Sit down.
get wrecked. That guy caused me enough grief the first playthrough that, honestly, any chance to absolutely dunk on him, I will take. Don't touch me. It's a Welsh man. I also like the fact that you could see somebody there jumping because they're trying to skip through his dialogue the way I was. Thank you for the medallion. Alright, cool thing is, we've already done Lakeside Crystal Cave and met Latena. I just didn't have the medallion so she wouldn't say anything to us after that. I told the old head I visit or have you come was my other oh, So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. Then I've no choice. Let's try again. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. I hope that you will forgive me. Hmm. Would you can some go back? There is something will you show me if you accept of the word. Thank you. They say in castles. Then I said farewell, love. I will go with the time to give me in it. The amount of bloodstains around here, I'm like, who's been attacking Latena? Sadness. Alright, let's add Latena to this. And let's consider upgrading Latena. I don't know if I have a great deal of... Um, I don't have any glove wart yet because I've just not been doing cast combs. I haven't done Shifra River. So we don't have Enchanted Shot as a skill either. Did I play Baldur's Gate 3? No. I did not. Not that I don't have any interest in it, there's just not enough times in the uh, not not enough hours in the day. Uh, so we need to probably go to Aeonia Swamp and farm some rot bone arrows. That might be a good call. Where are the butterflies? There's definitely some around here. I don't know if there's a good, like, farming route for these or anything, but... I also haven't encountered Millicent and done that fight, and I would prefer not to, so... Maybe you can find a way around here that doesn't involve that. any around here? I feel like a lot of the butterflies are just around like campfires and stuff. What about behind here? Behind the uh, O'Neill fight? Well, there's this. I think that's a smithing stone. Hmm. Really not seeing too many of them. Oh, what is this? A runok. Sacramental buds. Smithing stone four. Wish I'd known about that earlier. Then again, having Smithing Stone Falls on speed dial is going to be essential once we have the actual bow. Man, I really want to get to the uh, Halig Tree today. See if we can do a little bit of farming for it.
the noise is always a little bit shocking. The reason I'm looking around like this is because I know there's a merchant, I think maybe who sells them? He's around here somewhere and I forget where. I can't open the map right now because... Is it by these... So yeah, there we go. Can't open the map because there's like welcome. stuff targeting me. Customer. Yes, welcome you please. I'm hungry. Yeah, he sells them. And he sells fire arrows. Oh my goodness, I need to buy some of those. I don't have a whole lot of runes right now, but we can get them, obviously. Uh, for a start, we're not going to need Rykard's Remembrance, so we'll crush that for another 50k. Ah, how nice he's. Ah. Max out on those. And then Aeonian Butterflies. He's only got five. <laughs> That's more than I currently have. Ah, how nice of these. That should be enough to buy a few of them. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Well, now at least we can craft rot bone arrows once I've bought some bones. And I've got some flight pinions because I went to the um, Limgrave Divine Tower. So I guess I did activate Godric's Great Rune, which is usually a useful one to have anyway. But we can go to the, um, the Bone Peddler. And then we do this, of course. Get wrecked. Great enemy. Real great. Ah, lovely. The number of ways it can be played on repeat playthroughs, that's why we're doing this. That's 100% why we're doing this. Ping. Nice. D's still alive. Oh yeah, we need to go see the uh, the ladies. And I guess I'll probably sell all of these just so I can have a little extra cash. I don't know how much the bones are going for these days, but let's just buy a around 50. Yeah, because then we can craft as many of these as we want. The fletched ones fly further, I think, is the way it works. So we could craft a bunch of those, and there's no real disadvantage to it. Yeah, so now we have a hundred of those. The cheesing life of Jessica. Honestly, there's no other way to fight anybody with a bow than to, like, backstep and jump shot. So we did what we needed to do. Uh, anyway, that's... That taken care of for the round table holds. Now I guess we're going to attempt... Um... What's his face? Uh, Draconic Tree Sentinel. Let's do great runes. Wait a second. How do you apply gravity themed ashes of war <laughs> cuz i don't have a wet blade yet although maybe if it's just standard affinity it's fine but yeah, I didn't get the wet blade from the gate front. <laughs> so maybe we just need to go and get that real quick. <laughs> oh. 
Nice. Fully legless, that guy. Point blank shot straight through the throat. No prisoners. Standard, I assume, fine for magic. So you need the glintstone one. Yeah, I just can't remember if Rain of Arrows really counts as magic or not. Because it looks like gravity magic, but then maybe it's just purple. Some situations, having a bow is quite easy. This is about the time when it would be telling me about Ashes of War, even though I'm basically at Landell. <laughs> Took me a total of one and a half hours to clear the camp yesterday, I know. Well, I'm obviously, like, a lot later in the game, so... There we go. We can just get it. We can just get it. It costs a lot of FP, though. And bows don't have an affinity, so that's the important part here. Oh, somebody T-posing. Nice. Thank you, Gold Mask, for that. So let's see how this does. And again, at least now we have two uh, blue flasks. And I've got 88 FP, so maybe that will be okay. I don't really know. We need to equip rot bone arrows. And we'll just see how we do. Not entirely confident how we're going to do against Draconic Tree Sentinel. I should also... Now that we've got Godric's Great Rune equipped, we might as well have a little boost to all our stats as a treat. We can have a little boost. Don't know quite what we're going to do about the golems. But I think avoid them sounds good to me. How's that sound to you guys? Oh, okay. Nice. Big fan of that ability. Obviously, we've got to make sure that uh, we can continue to attack him at range. <laughs> cool, though. I like it. <laughs> yeah, this game is very pretty. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And if you caught any of uh, Ollie and Jimmy's stream and, and Lizzie's stream, it might have been a little early for you if you're waking up. But uh, they were all playing this earlier, and I really want to watch the VOD now. Oh, this is straight up a cheese, though. So he's rotted now. At this point, is the goal just to, like, evade? Evade and avoid? Because he's going to have Scarlet Rot for a really long time now. I just don't know how my arrows are going to hit him the rest of the time is the problem.
He has a lot of stationary attacks. I just don't know how I can get him to do them reliably without also hitting me. Although that seemed to work out okay. Honestly, it interrupts him pretty well, too. Heal. He's one shot away. We did it. We beat him. Imagine that. Me. Bow only. Xeon, thanks so much for the five months. A well-timed resub. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have like 80 hours in this game. Feel like you haven't seen half the world. And honestly, my first playthrough took me 140 hours. And I still skipped a major boss fight, which coincidentally is the one that leads to the DLC. And the DLC is going to be apparently an area the size of Limgrave, which is this whole green section here. So, um, yeah. And considering that a substantial chunk of Limgrave is the Stormvale Castle dungeon, I'm like, we could be in for a real one. <laughs> nice fight, thank you. We'll see how Morgoth does against this particular strategy. <laughs> Probably a little better than the uh, the Tree Sentinel does. The whole DLC boss area is kind of hidden, though. Yeah. Very curious how that's all going to play out. Anyway, we're in Lane Dell. We're off to see the wizard. Any of these guys could get up and try to stab me at any moment, but they're not going to because that would ruin the view. Where is the Emerald City? Um, probably the Halic Tree, actually. <laughs> Hidden Entrance is also pretty standard for Souls games. That's what I've heard. I've not played any previous Souls games to really understand where the uh, comparison I lies. Most thanks for bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Here and thus, I shall depart. Farewell. I shall leave. I wish you luck. You have fallen. I have no. Here and thus. Gonna swap these for maybe like fire arrows or something. Something I've got a bigger stock of. Although I could always just walk back to that merchant and buy more of them. Which would not be a bad idea. He's like basically right next to this Grace. And I could just buy more arrows with the uh, current purse that I have. Is it really a good video game if there's no hidden pathway behind a waterfall? There is one of those in this game I think. <laughs> We might be seeing it at some stage. Ah, oh, how nice of Elise. Really wish he gave me more than just a handful of butterflies, but again, I need to find out where the best place is to farm those. Might be in here somewhere. Limp Biscuit made a walkthrough as early as 2000. Yeah, for uh, rolling, 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 rolling. I see the joke. I see the joke. So three arrows takes these guys down. We get a saxophone out of it, though.
I cannot wait for the Envoy's Horn playthrough. <laughs> That's going to be so funny. Just to preserve ammunition. And because I'm pretty sure these enemies aren't going to give me too much trouble. That's my second Envoy's Horn. Also because Unsheath is a freaking incredible attack. And even though this weapon is only upgraded to like plus five as of right now, it's still doing a pretty decent amount of damage. Plus you can crit with it, which you can't with a bow, so... Make it a little easier. Pages. No. Bad. Hey, Ultimate Meme Boy. Thanks so much for the raid. Welcome in. Ultimate, you say? <laughs> Imagine a crit with a bow where you just take an arrow with your hand and stab with it. Like I said, Legolas tactics, yes. Now the real question is, how do we want to get around Lanedale? Because I really don't feel like rolling down there for that guard. Can we get up here? No, oh, no, that's that guy. Don't want that guy. All these lilies. That'll do. Preserving boluses. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, maybe we'll get out of here. Maybe we'll go this way. See the ghosts of other players running away. It's always so funny. Alright. Bow time. This isn't a boss as such, but it takes the form of something that's similar to a boss. It's going to be perfect for Rain of Arrows. Mainly because of the size, but also because it stays quite still. And also because Allergic to fire. If you'll excuse me. Ah, not now, game. Enough with the stuttering. That's not helping me. A little bit framesy, but that's... understandable given everything that's going on here. What we really want is for it to do that jump attack more. Because that's the one where it really stays still for a while. I'm getting the timing down for Reign of Arrows now though.
That's not ideal, but you know. Nice. Good fight. A little bit of a challenge, but again, I'm still a novice with the bow, so. Hey, Kuro, what's up? The Shadow Mod team. Question is... That's 50k. Okay, that's a fair bit. Hmm. I don't think we can quite make up the difference. So let's save it for now. I'll tell you what we can do here. Here we can have a sniper duel. <laughs> oh, yep, that one got me. Your problem is you don't move around at all, mate. <laughs> Good fight, though. Great arrows. Casually climbing the Wing of Dragon. Hope the challenge is going well. This run is honestly going much better than I expected, but we do still need to get to the Halig Tree and get the bow. <laughs> I was hoping we might be able to achieve that on this stream. We're an hour in. We're almost at Morgoth. Maybe? I don't want to count my chickens. Again, we are not committed to doing this bow only. The bow is really a support weapon. But I think, honestly, the amount of effort I've already put into what we've done with the bow... I'm pretty happy with. You'll be a master by the time you get to the bow. One hopes. The other thing about the Albanoric bow is you can infuse it with um, different Ashes of War. Yeah, who's getting stabbed now? Idiot. So you can't change its affinity. You can't, like, have it scale differently, which is one of the most annoying things about bows, because imagine a bow for a strength build if you had, like, a heavy infusion on a bow. But you can give it different Ashes of War. So we can make the Albanoric bow a bit more versatile in the same way that we've done with the longbow now. Such is my hope, anyway. Of course, at this point we have to fight Godfrey. But not the big Godfrey, the small Godfrey. The golden Godfrey. Phantom Godfrey. So we're going to get a bit of a preview of how that fight will go for us with a bow. I don't know how well Reign of Arrows is going to make sense indoors. We'll see. As always, the trick is to roll around behind him wherever you possibly can. And obviously this Godfrey doesn't have a second phase, so we don't have to deal with that.
I know enough about this fight just from having fought him in the last playthrough, though, that I think I'm doing better with his patterns than I might have otherwise, except for that one. Oh, I've got to stop doing that. I've got to stop, like, trying to shoot at somebody I'm not even facing. Of course, he's behind the pillar now, so I lose targeting. Ouch. This is going to be our final talisman pouch as well, so we need to figure out what's going here. Yeah, keep walking slow. That's a good idea. <laughs> he was waiting for me to slip up. <laughs> he was waiting for me to start uh, drawing the bow. Fortunately, we got that. I think we need more into Viga, to be honest with you. Both strength and dex are only leveling the sword now. They're not leveling the bow. The bow is left armament one. Arcane is still going to get us another point in discovery, as well as this level up gets you a ton of like additional stat bonuses to defensive power. Um, so we'll put one into Arcane. Technically, we do need Vega, but who cares? Honestly, once you get towards the latter half of this game, it is just a matter of dodging better. At least in Elden Ring, you don't get stunlocked and two-shotted. I mean, often. <laughs> you don't get stunlocked and two-shotted often. Time for Black Knife Assassin. I've not fought one of these with the bow yet. So I'm kind of wondering if we can just maybe... Um, Yeah, this is what I thought would happen. Yeah, we have to trade for a lot of these, I think. Either that or they have to get stuck on a finger reader. Nice, headshot. Don't know where that arrow was going, but it wasn't at the assassin. Oh, I hate the grab. Always hate the grab. <laughs> I thought for a second they had jumped off the roof, like fully exited the building. This isn't even a boss fight, this is just like casual, normal enemy, standard enemy. I've been lucky with those as well. Cool, okay, good. Had to concentrate for that one, but we got it. Obviously, you can just walk in here and rest at the grace, but I wanted to do that fight. I kind of wanted to see how the bow held up against such a maneuverable enemy. I'm not super disappointed with that. Such a beautiful dance, yeah. Um, okay, so Morgoth should be better with the Reign of Arrows. I think Reign of Arrows is going to be better against bigger targets, stands to reason, right? And Morgoth is quite big. Quite big. We also have the advantage of being able to summon Melina for this. So perhaps we shall do that and we shall see if Morgoth will be distracted 
I assume also that Rot Arrows are going to do quite well against Morgoth because he's very, like, holy coded. I just don't want to waste the Rot Bone Arrows. I guess Poison also works. So if we... We could Poison and Rot him, but then I don't have... I'd have to, like, switch to normal arrows maybe mid-fight. We'll try that. We'll try that. We can we can buy the poison arrows pretty easy. All right, Mel, it's you and me. Let's go. Hmm. Also, before we start this, might as well use one. Give ourselves a fighting chance. I'm going to skip the cutscene because we fought Morgoth before, so we know what goes on. And of course, he completely misses the first rain of arrows. Because he's such a maneuverable guy. Stay there. <laughs> he just walks through it like a badass. Look at him. Okay, he's definitely poisoned now. Okay, good. Oh, thanks for the heal, Mel. Okay, that was that was a proc. That was a proc. We saw the cloud of rot right there. I never know how to dodge that attack. Okay, we did it. We did it that time. Yeah, the problem is we've already got a time rain of arrow as well. And timing attacks well was never my forte. This could be going a lot worse, though. Okay, he took a lot of attacks there. This should be it. More got bow only. We did it. Heck yeah. To be fair, I'm ridiculously overleveled for this point in the game, but that was pretty darn good, if you ask me. I should have put different Ashes of War on this a long time ago. <laughs> All right, peace. From source makers of fancy rhythm games, yeah. None may enter the Erd tree. Really good way of them uh, sneakily putting in a grace <laughs> while your back was turned. Okay, so we are at this point on our way to the mountaintops of the giants, which means we are most of the way to the Halig Tree and actually acquiring the bow. Allow me, you are unable prevented the thorns, a husk of the only way, and become my purpose, so I'd like to the flame then and guide you. Then and guide me. Right, let's, um... Let my... Share them with me. Okay, we are, we are 3,000 runes short. Obviously, we have uh, Morgoth's Remembrance and this. We're not going to need Morgoth's Remembrance. 
What's up, Roscoe? Welcome in. I think we should probably... Once we have the, uh, the weapon, I think I'm probably going to respec for, like, 60 Vigor. But I think for now we're going to put the points into Arcane simply because... Having discovery means we get the weapon slightly easier. The range helps a lot. How many of attacks is AoE and melee focused? Yeah, yeah. There we go. We got him eventually. Doing 430 on headshots now. Two more birds should do it. And honestly, I think the Spear Talisman is probably doing more than I expected. Because a lot of these, um, a lot of these bosses are just going to be constantly attacking if they can't reach you. They're going to be, like, looking for a way to reach you. Okay, so back to Avenue Balcony, to the rolled lift, across the mountaintops to Castle Soul, where we've got a boss to fight. Really very curious to see how the bow does against Niall. I reckon it should be okay. It's also worth noting that I haven't really upgraded this bow past 14. I'm trying to save as many smithing stones as I can because they're a pain to get. But then obviously once we have the godskins fight out of the way, we can just buy anything that we still need to upgrade. But I'm saving the 7s uh, and 8s for the actual Albanoric bow. The other thing about using a katana as my, like, other weapon <laughs> is that I'm really not set up with a katana build in mind. This is genuinely one of the best games. It is. I fully agree. Amazing that the game chose to target the uh, guy just outside the door there and not the guy who was actively fighting me. And then I just rolled off the edge of the lift. <laughs> Fortunately, though, it gives you a platform so that you don't immediately die. I wonder if that guy's still going to be on the lift when we come back down. Which weapon are we on now? Albanoric Bow. The bow on my back is not the one. Oh, hello. But the thing about the Albanoric bow is... Um, we have to go and get it. Oh, he's here. Honestly, the Misbegotten are not a big deal at this stage, but that one's just a pain. Don't even try it, you. Yeah, get back. Once you have it, will they recognize you as an Albanoric? They might. Yes, our character's name is Jessica Albanoric, yes. I have some very good names lined up <laughs> for future playthroughs.
should have given that guy a shield. Don't know where that first shot went. Literally was about to rain of arrows, this guy. Nice. Just gonna go around. Don't mind me. Stealth, stealth, stealth. I'm over here playing Sekiro. This guy's still going to kill me. Look at this. <laughs> I did so much to that guy. I've earned myself a reprieve. Now the horse is coming to attack me. <laughs> I'll do this one because it's funny. And also because I might end up with a somber weapon somewhere. Okay, he got away. Fine. I love the way the horse is just, like, walking across the bridge. Daniel Radclub. <laughs> That'll be a million channel points. <laughs> um, no, he, I, I, I don't know if we'll do Daniel Radclub. We'll see. Because the club uh, is going to be, like... It's going to be a wretch playthrough, I think. Because you start with the club. And the question is, do we just try for, like... Wretch, club, no equipment, like, just upgrade. Obviously not rune level 1, because rune level 1 you've got to have a better setup or just be very good at the game. Oh, now we have to do the gargoyle fight again. Don't want to do the gargoyle fight again. Also, I don't want to get the Knight's Cavalry on me at this point, but, you know. There he is. bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum I was about to ask if it was going to be rune level 1. No, for rune level 1, I feel like people end up with the, um... Star Fists, or whatever they're called. Rune level 1 is, like... You upgrade some fist weapons to, like, plus 25 or something. Imagine if Elden Ring and Warcraft had a baby, it was Elden Ring as big as World of Warcraft's world. Honestly, the, the world of Elden Ring is big enough. Like, I honestly can't be bothered playing anything bigger than this. <laughs> Which is a silly way to put it, but you know. Okay, this one, Reign of Arrows, is going to potentially crush, so... If only they weren't as maneuverable. They also do a fair amount of damage to me at this stage. What we need is some sort of spot where they will run back to. So that I can cheese.
That one they just took, which was pretty great, actually. Okay, forgot about the follow-up. Ow. Club me out of the air with that one. I don't, I don't aim fast enough for that. Okay. Keep concentration. Oh, come on. Okay, bored of this one now. Ah, boo. I was running for the grace. <laughs> Got two heavy cores back to back. Nice. That's cool. I got my first one today, so I can be happy for people who have heavy cores now. What arrows do we think are going to be good against this guy? Probably not many. Like, they're pretty impervious to most stuff. I think we're just going to do our best with physical. Annoying though that is. It's because I, I got mine and you uh, had to try? No worries. It's about picking my openings for Reign of Arrows, really. One of the keys for Reign of Arrows is being able to uh, hammer them with status quickly, and that's just not working for this fight because they're resistant. Mistimed the roll. Never mind. Yeah, Blackblade Kindred, I don't know if we can really do any effects. Gonna quickly check that though.
Immune to all status effects. Yeah, makes sense. Weak to strike damage, which I don't really do. I think, honestly, this is one where we just run through, we get the grace, we ignore the boss fight. We come back to it later. Obviously, we could do a bit more on the horse. But it's an optional boss, ultimately. We don't have to do the fight. So maybe we come back for that one or don't do it at all. He's probably still out there. Come back with a stronger weapon. Maybe a few more arrows. Hoist the medallion, let's go. All right, mountaintops. I don't really feel like getting stuck on that guy for too long, especially if there's a chance we can get to the uh, snow field today. I'm going to grab this. We're not going to talk to Shabriri. <laughs> I might also, at some stage, want to get cold arrows? Haunts! Haunts indeed. I'm pretty sure there are cold arrows, right? Because these butterflies are a thing. And butterflies just seem to be the ingredient for imbuing arrows with any kind of elemental property. They stick behind obstacles, or can the monsters clip through them? Um, it depends. Sometimes the obstacles are destructible, so an enemy that big will either just walk over or through stuff. So sometimes you can get it stuck on a pillar, but other times not so much. I'm also going to use the Uchi Katana to take care of the golem over here, because I really don't really... F Whoa. There we go. I don't feel like... Uh fighting bow versus bow with this guy. There we go. That's my cue to skedaddle. have it. He's down, but on which side? This side. Oh, it didn't even let me get a crit. Are you serious? That's down to poor positioning. I also really wish it was possible to get them to fully fall off this cliff, but it isn't really. Seems like it should be to me, you know? If I can fall off this cliff, you should as well. Seriously, all of this, like, sinking into the ground malarkey is, like, not helpful to me in the slightest. Do you understand that? Achilles heel. This one, I'm not letting get away. There we go. 
Just in case we need that for later. Let's go for Ronin armor. Where's the Ronin armor again? I feel like the thing about our girl Jessica is that I don't know if we're going to be able to farm the full Albanoric Archer set. And that's really what I want for Jessica. Incoming call from Latena. Do you hear me? It is I, Latena. We're almost there. Castle Sol lies just off to the north, where the other medallion is housed. It will grant passage to the land of the healing tree. You know what else? I just realized. We need the... I can't remember where you get it. We need the red branch sword talisman. And I cannot remember which boss you have to fight. It might be one of the death birds or it might be... Um, death right birds. I forget which. So that's something to go back for in a second. Play through this game four times. I've always had Latena when riding through here. The message is never propped for me. Maybe it's just about the route you ride through or something. I don't know. But yeah, I, I always uh, do that now because the first time through, I didn't ever find Latena. Like, Gideon just constantly told me, find this Albanoric woman. And I was like, I... I don't know who that is. His directions were always so bad. So, um, honestly, every opportunity I get now, I go do Latena. Bong. Death right, but is still following me. Question directions isn't uh, quest directions isn't the game's strong suit. Yes, totally. Okay. So here we are at the second prank castle. Just gonna cheese this thing from the doorway. Game paused there for a second. Game thought about it. These are like literally the worst enemies. To be fighting with a bow. Like they're just not very good. See this? You see this garbage? Alright, I'm leaving. Bye. Follow me if you want to. Okay, somehow we made it through that fight. <laughs> I guess. In before the bird follows me. Not that it needs to, because there's all of these guys in the way. 
As long as we hit this grace, we're fine. Because if we die in this room, we just respawn next to our runes. Yeah, the input reading enemies annoying. The uh, agile enemies not the greatest to fight with the bow. We'll ignore that. It's one of the legendary weapons. Doesn't really mean anything to us. Instead, what we are here for is... Up through this door. That guy drawing his swords menacingly. And this guy. This is not going to be fun because having all three of these aggro on me at once and have to deal with two of these knights kind of sucks. Especially when I'm in a corner and I can't roll out of it. <laughs> Alright. Let's try that again. I think maybe we save Rain of Arrows for O'Neill himself, or Niall, which one, whichever one this is. I think we focus on coating the other guys in fire arrows first. We set off the Albanoric alarm system. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I can see why ranged characters tend to cheese this guy. <laughs> oh, he's O'Neill's dad. I guess, I guess that makes sense. This is not your number one enemy for hours. Took more attempts to mill in here. We will still do our best, because this means we get the only other thing we need to get access to the area where we can get the weapon for this run. And much as I don't want to uh, have to do this, we could potentially spend a bit of time off camera farming the weapon if we're able to at least get there today. Don't know why I'm rolling towards my runes. I don't need them anyway. Oh, I forget how much extra maneuverability those guys have. This might be a call for a melee weapon, to be honest. <laughs> this, this, one, this one we might use a melee weapon for. But then my melee weapons are not super well upgraded at this moment, so... The other option is that we go and get some uh, glove wart and we upgrade a summon. And then it's just a matter of keeping me alive. The good thing is, at this point, we're so well set up in terms of, like, potential for buying all of the arrows and stuff. That I don't even need to worry too much about, like...
running out of, like, fire arrows if I use them this whole fight. Nice. Good hit. Isn't going to mean anything if these guys double up on me, which they always do. <sighs> yeah, no, this, this isn't looking feasible right now with the skill level I have. Maybe if we upgraded the longbow even more, we might manage it, but I think... I think we need to go back and do a little bit of glove walk gathering. So let's take a trip to a completely separate portion of the map. There's obviously catacombs and stuff that we can go all the way through if we want to. The problem is I want to upgrade Latena, and Latena's going to be useless for this fight as well because she doesn't move. Have I been to this guy before? Oh, he has some Trina's arrows, the sleep arrows. Hmm. I wonder if those will be any good. We'll probably use them later for the god skins. So I haven't been to see that guy, but we definitely need to remember him. I also haven't gotten these yet, which is hilarious. Usually go by the rule when I see boss fighting not only by themselves, I also use summons. Yeah, that's that's reasonable. I think that's fair. There's obviously a couple of bosses down here that we could fight. Hey, Sigmunds, welcome back. It's going well so far. We've got to the point where I need to fight a boss in order to proceed. And uh, there is a way you can cheese him, but I don't know exactly how to do it. Because I think you need to jump from the cliff onto a tree and then onto a castle. And then you can, like, shoot at him from the castle wall. But I don't quite know how to do that. So instead, we're going to upgrade a summon and see how far we get. I would love to get to the snowfield today. And I don't mind farming for the bow off camera. Between streams or anything. If we at least have the opportunity to acquire the bow. <laughs> it's like, horse? What is horse? Where's all the glove ward at? We can also do um, Ainsel River as well. So we can get the... Glove ward rivers done. Is there any down here or is it all in the next area? Oh, there's one here. I can't remember if it's Ghost Glove Wart or Grave Glove Wart we need. It doesn't tell you on here, but the line here splits the two categories up. And if we're using Latena, I think we need that specific type. I think it might be Grave Glove Wart. I took the eggs. What are you going to do about it? I also haven't uh, 
talk to Rodrika about spirit tuning yet, so we'll do that. <laughs> That'd be a good idea, probably. Where are all of the glove wards, then? I think they're in the more woodsy sections over here, right? I tell you what, it's been really strange doing all of this and not doing Rani's quest for once. Because we had to do Rani's quest with Alan. We did bits and pieces of it with the first playthrough because I really wasn't sure how that was going to go. But this one has been quite different. Big Mad Alan. Hello, Ollie. How was stream? I'm very much looking forward to watching the VOD. I'll probably watch it while I make my dinner tonight. How far did you get in the end? You did Leonine Misbegotten. Oh, cool. So you did the whole uh, Weeping Peninsula. How did the others like it? Are you going to do any more? Or is it just like, all right, DLC hype, let's do a stream this week? Because, yeah, what I saw, you were just... Uh, the three of you were jumping Tree Sentinel. It was going quite well. It goes quite well until it doesn't, but they seem to be holding their own. Is the one mil channel point reward some insider? Uh, yeah, so the deal is that a lot a lot of times people come in here and they're like, hey, you know who you look like? And we just got so bored with it because so often it was just a British man with a beard that I decided to make it uh, a million channel points to basically stop people doing it. <laughs> and by the time you've been here long enough to have... Uh, accumulated a million channel points then you're probably a bit more chill and uh, you know actively a member of this community and at that point I respect your opinion you did a bit of weeping accidentally beeline to misbegotten then walked back uh, to die to tree sentinel more nice yeah so where's all the glove water here I swear there was so much of it Maybe I'm just not passing the right places. I know there's a little bit of it secreted away in the... Um... Ow. Don't mind me, just got a... Traffic divider stuck in my back. Um... There's some of it in the... Uh... Dragonkin soldier area. Maybe I should just look up this part. Start a new playthrough yesterday. Nice one, Kev. What's your build? What are you aiming for? So I'm going to look up Lieutenant the Albanoric just to make sure that I use... Um... 